okay in today's class let us uh, discuss uh, two problems uh, to make us understand the idea of uh, angular momentum further and also uh, that uh, angular momentum depends on the origin or the point about which we are trying to calculate uh, the angular momentum of a body okay it depends upon the origin so let us consider first uh, this problem uh, okay, uh, a block of mass m and uh, negligible dimensions slides freely in the x direction with a velocity v for the magnitude of velocity is v and it is along the x direction okay so v vector v is equal to v times unit vector i as shown in the figure so you can see the figure on the right side here is our body of mass m sliding along the x direction with a velocity v. Now, what is the angular momentum? What is its angular momentum L a around origin a and its angular momentum L b around origin b? So, two origins, two, two uh, points are chosen. Here, the word origin means uh, a point, a reference point about which we are trying to calculate the angular momentum. So the first uh, uh, point or uh, origin about which we try to calculate the angular momentum of the body is A. Second point is this B. Okay. So first let us calculate and uh, this uh, point B is at a distance L from the x-axis. Okay. This is the data that is given. So the body is here. Uh, mass M dimension is negligible and it is sliding along the x-direction with a velocity V. And uh, there is one point here A, we want to calculate the angular momentum of the body about this point. And another point is here B, we want to calculate the angular momentum of the body about this point. And uh, the point B, uh, point A is at the origin of the coordinate system, right? So here uh, the word origin, you should not confuse with the origin of the coordinate system. Okay, point A is exactly at the origin of the coordinate system. Uh, whereas uh, point B, the reference point B is at a distance L from the uh, along the y-axis at a distance L from uh, origin of the coordinate system. Okay, that's all. So, hope this is clear. So, first we will calculate um, the angular momentum of the body about um, the point A. Okay, so let me redraw this figure. So, L A. Okay, so I am redrawing. This is x-axis. Let us consider only this uh, origin A. The body is here. Mass M. Moving with the velocity V along the x-direction. Okay, so in order to calculate the angular momentum, we know that uh, the expression for angular momentum okay, is r cross linear momentum okay so we can say r cross p that is r cross mass into velocity okay so here um, we want to calculate the angular momentum about the origin or about the point a l a so for that we need uh, the position vector of the this object from the point A. Okay, so let me draw this position vector. Let us call it R A. Okay, so in this expression, I can write uh, R A. So angular momentum of the body about the point A is R A cross M. Okay, now we can see that R A uh, is along the uh, x axis. See. R A is along the x axis and uh, the velocity of the body is also along the x axis. So both are along the same direction. That means uh, if two vectors are along the same direction, cross product between them is zero. If two body, two vectors A and B are along the same direction, A cross B, magnitude of A cross B will be A B sin theta and the angle theta, if uh, two vectors are parallel to each other or along the same direction, angle theta is zero. So the cross product will be zero. It means that um, this cross product is 0, therefore LA is equal to 0. 
okay so angular momentum of this body about um, the point a about the reference point a okay which is at the origin of the coordinate system and this uh, angular momentum is zero because um, the position vector ra uh, from this point and also the velocity of the body both are along the same direction okay now let us calculate um, the angular momentum about the point b okay so again we have to redraw so we, next we want to calculate angular momentum uh, <coughs> about the point b okay so for that uh, again i am redrawing this figure This is our body of mass m moving along the x direction with the velocity v and uh, this point uh, is at here b okay which is at a distance l from the uh, origin of the coordinate system from here so it is at a distance l along the y-axis so in order to calculate the angular momentum of this body about the point B, we need the position vector of the body from the point B. Okay. So let us draw this position vector. Okay. Let us call it RB, vector RB. So clearly vector RB is not parallel to the velocity vector. So the cross product will not be zero. So we can write LB is equal to rb cross momentum or rb cross md okay so what i am doing now is let us uh, resolve this vector into two vectors okay using uh, the triangular law of vector addition this is one component let me call it r perpendicular okay this is not a scalar it's a vector okay r perpendicular vector and r parallel vector so why this notation r par you can see that uh, okay from triangular law of addition you can see that um, r perpendicular plus r parallel will be equal to rb clear so we can write it here from the figure vector rb is equal to r parallel plus vector plus r perpendicular vector why this particular notation uh, see you can see that r parallel vector is parallel to the velocity of the body so that is why i am using the notation r parallel vector and r perpendicular vector is along the minus y direction it is perpendicular to the velocity of the body which is along the plus x direction okay so let us um, substitute for rb so vector lb um, that is angular momentum along about around the point about the point b is r parallel vector plus r perpendicular vector cross mb so we can write this as two cross products r parallel cross mb plus r perpendicular cross mb okay so that is equal to we can see that uh, this first factor okay r parallel cross mv uh, see r parallel is along the plus x direction velocity v is also along the plus x direction both are parallel to each other so angle between them is theta which is, which is zero so cross product is zero okay so here this part is zero plus and what about this part Okay, so we have to use uh, the vector notation here, I mean uh, the, the unit vectors here. So what is uh, R perpendicular vector? Okay, um, I can write it here. R perpendicular vector, I can write as, its magnitude is simply L, right? It's, uh, see, the, the, the distance from the origin. Okay, for R perpendicular vector is this distance, it is L. And what is the direction of R perpendicular vector along minus Y direction? So its direction is minus j cap okay and uh, what is velocity vector it is magnitude is some v and its direction is along the positive x direction 
okay so um when you take the cross product between them what you get is um, okay l minus j cap i can substitute cross m into v i cap okay so basically the two vectors here are uh, unit vector j and unit vector i what is the cross product between unit vector j and unit vector i we know that there is a cyclic relationship between the three um, unit vectors i j and k okay uh, such that i cross j is k j cross k is i and k cross i is j and uh, if we follow this direction okay if the direction is opposite you will, you will get the opposite sign so what you have here is j cross i okay so what is j cross i you are for um, moving moving in the opposite sense so you get minus k okay so the cross product between j and i j cross i is minus k there is a minus sign here so the two minus will cancel so what you have is m v l the direction is k okay so this is the um, angular momentum of uh, the particle b um, the point particle b about the point b mbl can it is its direction is along the um, plus z direction and the direction is along the plus z direction because if you take the cross product rb cross v okay so see the direction of rb look at the figure direction of rb is this direction okay they are, it's along this direction and uh, the direction of v is along uh, um, plus x direction so if you take the cross product rb cross v you have to rotate in the um, in the counter clockwise sense okay in the you have to rotate in the counter clockwise sense when the rotation is in the counter clockwise sense okay look at this figure when the rotation is in the counter clockwise sense um, the angular momentum vector will be along the plus z direction okay you use the right hand uh, uh, grip rule okay if you rotate the place the um, right hand uh, at the point of intersection between um, rb and v that means at the location of the point, point particle m and um, okay uh, you rotate from the uh, you, you rotate the four fingers from the first vector to the second vector first vector is rb second vector is v so when you rotate like that you are rotating in the anti clockwise sense and the then the thumb points along the plus z direction so from the right hand grip rule also you can send you can see that the direction of um, rb cross v in other words the direction of lb angular momentum about the point b will be along the plus z direction that's what we have obtained here okay uh, it is in the k plus k dash that means plus z direction so from this uh, problem what we have understood is um, for the same uh, system look at this uh, system for the same particle the angular momentum about uh, point a is zero okay whereas angular momentum about point b is uh, mvl uh, along the plus z direction so this clearly shows that uh, for the same body if you calculate the angular momentum about different reference points you will get different uh, results okay so this is uh, what we have understood from here and uh, okay let us try to obtain this uh, i mean again try to calculate this result uh, using the uh, the standard way of expressing uh, cross product okay uh, using a determinant okay let's let's try this method also so anyway in the first part we know that uh, la is zero so let me calculate lb in this way lb is equal to rb cross v and uh, previously i have uh, expressed the rb as r parallel and r perpendicular that means geometrically i try to calculate let us try to do the calculation algebraically so how do we write rb um, so vector rb how do we write this uh, let us look at this figure uh, this is vector rb so if you resolve this into um, x uh, it's a vector in the xy plane so it has an x component so if you resolve it uh, 
um, let's say uh, maybe I will write it here let me show it here um, this was a vector RB let us say so if you resolve it has an X component and it has a Y component okay and uh, what is the X component we don't know the value of the X component so let us simply take it as X I whereas Y component its magnitude is uh, L and its direction is uh, minus Y direction so RB we can write as some X I minus L J okay what about vector V vector V remember it is simply simply V I it has no y and z component it is only along the x direction so what is how do we write lb using the standard determinant form okay i j k first vector is uh, r so it is it has an x component x y component is minus l z component is zero below uh, second vector is velocity vector its x component is v y component is zero z component is zero okay let us expand this so i come i into we get zero and j into again minus j into zero again so the only non zero term is k okay so oh sorry lb is uh, there is a mass also rb cross mv okay so there is an m here okay so this is equal to m into k times what you get is um, x into 0 minus uh, minus l into v so we get l into v okay so we get m v l k the same value that we have obtained uh, using a geometrical calculation okay see here m v l k see here we have done this calculation geometrically we have that in the sense that we have resolved RB um, parallel to B and perpendicular to B like that. Okay, that's a geometrical way of looking at it. Um, whereas here we have done an algebraic calculation and we have got uh, the same result. Okay. So as I, I have told before, this problem clearly shows that angular momentum uh, depends on um, the choice of the origin, the choice of the reference point. And it also again once again shows that even if a body has linear motion, see our body uh, M of mass M is moving along the plus X direction. There is no rotation here. Okay, it's, it's only moving and it's, it, it's having a linear motion. Even though it has a linear motion, it has angular momentum. Even though its angular momentum about this point is a point A is zero. If you choose another point, it has a definitely an angular momentum. Okay, so even if a body has only linear motion, it can have angular momentum that depends upon the choice of the, the, the reference point. Okay, maybe uh, a better word for origin uh, is uh, instead of origin, we have to, we can use uh, reference point because if you use the word origin, it may be, it may get confused with the origin of the coordinate system. Okay, so reference point A and reference point B. Angular momentum about the reference point A is zero, about reference point B is not zero. We have calculated it. Okay.